show you something here. First off, I notice while I'm cleaning these carbs that this choke plunger is sticking. Okay, and when I pull this out, normally it's on this spring and this cap, and this should shove back in, and it's it's just plain sticking. And I've cleaned these, I've cleaned these pretty well, but I'm going to show you here. You see all those scratches in there? So something's been in there and causing it to drag, which definitely could be why this bike's running rich if that choke's sticking open. So what I'm going to do is, is smooth this off with some light emery cloth, and I'm going to polish this bore and make sure that it can return under its own spring pressure. We've got a bike here that's running rich on one cylinder. The other side does not seem to be bad like this, so this would be a really good clue uh, if this is why the bike is running really rich. So pretty excited to find this. And I'll show you a close-up. Can you see all the heavy scratches in there? And actually there's a big burr right at the top side right there. You can actually see where it's got some raised metal. No good. We need to get that out of there. Look at all those scratches. I really think we found a reason for the bike running rich is this choke being held open. Let's fix it. I'll put links to this tool in the kit below, but I've got nylon and then there's two different steel brushes, kind of a softer one and then a stiffer metal. I'm going to try these two first. I really don't want to remove a bunch of metal to make that bore bigger because this is not a serviceable item where you can buy larger sizes. I've really got to use some caution as I clean this up. All the sealing's done on this rubber seal down on the bottom of the carburetor on a little ring in there. So shutting the fuel off won't be a problem, but I can't have this flopping around in there. Even with vibration, that could be moving around and possibly leak some fuel by. So we got to get a just a real good clean seat, and we'll see if we can make that happen just by cleaning it up. Taking the finest emery cloth I have, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And I'm hardly putting any pressure on here. I'm just removing those burrs. The other thing I've done on these is use lapping compound. There we go. That baby's good and free now. That's the way it's supposed to be.